welcome to the fourth installment of the deliciously wonderful series of burgers and biceps and today we are going to Johnny's Tavern. We are going to Johnny's Tavern to try their burgers out. They look really good from what we can tell on the pictures. We just fueled up and we are on our way so we'll let you know how it goes. episode four filming for burgers and biceps we went to johnny's <laughs> <laughs> took me a second to get that word out i was like pub bar johnny's tavern uh, so we went to johnny's tavern to try out their burger um it was very interesting out of the way location um we'll get more into that because yeah. we're starting off our rating here going by how many stars out of five would you give the ambiance, the atmosphere of Johnny's Tavern? You know, it's kind of tricky. Um, it's It was by far, out of the three categories that we do, being atmosphere, price, and taste, it was definitely its weak point. Um, like he was saying, it was kind of in the middle of nowhere, super kind of hole-in-the-wall bar area, and it kind of felt like sitting in somebody's basement was the easiest way to describe it. Low ceilings, uh, we actually had to duck like walking in. Um, so that was kind of weird, and the service wasn't bad. Um, the first half was kind of meh, but overall, I would give it a two. Uh, yeah, probably a two. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be a little bit more generous. I'll give it a two and a half. Um, I can't blame them too much for the outside stuff in the location because I'm sure it's been there forever and times have changed and all that stuff. But yeah, it wasn't a very welcoming atmosphere, especially when we first walked in. Um, I feel like between the two of us, we kind of charmed up the waitress a little bit towards the end and, it, and she was more friendly. But uh, yeah, the start was a little bit rough. It was kind of dark and gloomy in there. So I'm gonna give it a two and a half for atmosphere, um, which moves us on to price. Yeah. And that is something that I am going to give four and a half out of. For the amount of food that we got, um, the price was very, very reasonable. Um, I feel like most people wouldn't need to add the extra patty that we did onto the burger because they were pretty good sized burgers and the price was was very good probably for the amount of food we got the best yet. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I'm gonna go with the uh, even four. Um, it was it was a lot cheaper than we were expecting honestly or at least me they didn't have a website so we were kind of guesstimating um, but a, a burger alone was 750. Like Noah was saying, a lot of people don't have to add that extra patty. So if you do the burger and fries, it's easily under $10, which is the best deal that we found. But even with an extra patty, um, it was still like about $15 a person, which yeah. for the amount of food that we got, not complaining at all. So definitely an easy four. But the most important part, the taste, um, I would give it, I'd give it, say another four. It was really good. It wasn't quite that Thurman's level that we were at last week, and we're kind of worried nothing's going to be able to be at that level. But it was kind of right around um, with B-dubs from episode two. I would say it's pretty comparable to. What do, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with that. I'm going to give it an even four as well. Um, yeah, after Thurman's, man, that, that ruined all burgers yeah. for me. So that Thurman's burger was phenomenal. So we'll see if anything can beat it, but... Uh, that's setting the bar pretty high. Um, I did definitely enjoy the burger. The amount of food was perfect. I thought the fries were phenomenal, definitely better than Buffalo Wild Wings as far as the fries go. They were nice and crispy. Um, the burger was just, I don't wanna say it was dry because it wasn't, but it wasn't, it didn't have that juicy melt in your mouth beef that the Thurman's burger had. So um, toppings were generous and everything though, especially with the cheese, there was, that was yeah, good. So um, I'm gonna give it a four as well. All right, so all together, we're averaging out at about 3.5 stars. So good solid score, um, good burger, definitely a good price uh, on the atmosphere. Yeah. But if dark and gloomy and short ceilings is your thing, then, and watching, that's right, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta touch real quick on what they yeah, had on TV. This I was forgot. the interesting part of the adventure. So um, 
you go into a bar expecting to watch sports or something like that, something good on TV. We watch a snake have surgery. Bears make passionate love to each other. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Speaking like the actual animal bears. And then um, what do we finish off with? Like uh, rescuing pit bulls or something. Prison, like that. prison people rescuing pit bulls. Yeah. So it's the first time <laughs> either of us have actually sat at a bar. Neither of us really drank or like go to bars. So we went in and we sat right in front of the big TV they had. We're like awesome. They had Super Bowl coverage on. Um, all the other TVs we saw, perfect. But no, we got to watch the Animal Planet for half an hour <laughs> and lots of bears and snakes. And yeah, so that was um, very, just added to the uniqueness of the experience. Uh, but yeah, overall, three and a half, definitely a solid rating. Um, if it wasn't super far out of the way, it might end up being a regular stop for us. But because of the price, mostly. But with it being so far away, probably won't go back because Thurman's is about the same distance away. And if you're driving by there, by all means, stop, try it. It's worth it. Um, I wouldn't go out of, out of my way for it. Yeah. So that's how I'd wrap that up. So thank you for watching another episode of Burgers and Biceps. Stay tuned for next week.